this is a Lockthon Plays, and I thought I would do a quick video on an easy way to farm nanites. Now, first of all, uh, you need to find an abandoned building, which I have here, and I'll show you how to do that with a map in just a second. So I have an abandoned building, and these are the ones that have the eggs at them. Now there are lots of ways to farm eggs at these abandoned buildings. For instance, uh, Jason Plays did a great video on them, which uh, me, which he suggests, a lot of people suggest, that you just dig uh, a hole underneath the nest, and then when you when you shoot the egg, it'll fall, fall down into the hole. The monstrosities won't attack you in the hole, and uh, then you can just farm them to your heart's content. For whatever reason, that method has never worked for me. I dig the hole and the monstrosities come down there with me. I don't know if it's because I'm not digging them deep enough or what, but this is another, another method which people have come up with. There are other videos on it, but I just happen to not be able to find one at the moment, so I thought I would make my own video and uh, that way I can find it. <laughs> So first of all, you want to build a base computer at this place. You need to claim it. And once you have that done, you just build walls around the nests. So I don't know if you can get abandoned buildings that have more eggs than others. But I just do this at a couple of, of abandoned uh, buildings, and I usually name the uh, uh, I usually name the base something like eggs, so I can find it easily on my teleporter list. But all you want to do is just build a bunch of walls around the nests. Let's see if that's gonna fit with just one. Yeah. And you want to you want to make the walls as close to the nests as possible. Because if you leave room, then the monstrosities can sometimes sneak in there with you and then oh fun, you're trapped in a small room with the monstrosity. So I think I can finish this one with a half wall there. Yeah. So once you've done this around all of the nests, you usually have five or six of them, then you just hop in there, and I'm gonna go inside, I'm not gonna sit on the wall, I apologize for, for doing this during the night, but time flies, and then once this monstrosity, They usually spawn outside of the nest, or outside the building. This is a little odd. Alright, let me try that again. Okay. There we go. And all the monstrosity has spawned outside the nests, and you can just farm these without getting damaged and without having to fend them off or run from them or whatever. I can usually get somewhere between 15 and 20 eggs out of a nest, or out of a site, I'm sorry, which will give you whatever that is times 50. Sometimes, there it is, sometimes the eggs are hard to find, sometimes they disappear entirely. So I took a quick break in order to let the sun rise. And I don't know why this enclosure keeps on keeping bugs with me. But I also finished building enclosures around all of the eggs. Uh, just to show you how many chemical I need to shoot it before I can collect the egg. Um, to show you how many of these you can get from a single site. And you can hear them hitting the walls with the 
with their spit, and sometimes they hit the walls with their tails, and the tails can actually be projected through the wall and, and hit you, which uh, is a little annoying, but you still are taking a lot less damage than you do uh, if you're just out and about with them. Another thing which I found useful when I'm doing this is I'll go into my controller options and I'll turn the vibration off. That way, whenever they attack the wall, my controller doesn't vibrate and it makes collecting the, the car cores a lot easier because they can be, you have to have your, your reticule directly on the core in order to collect it. And it's more sensitive than other things. Having those was a bad idea. So then I just work my way around the building Usually, you're keeping with a clockwise or counterclockwise motion, depending upon the way I started. And I just collect all the eggs. Safely, without having to fight the, mon the monstrosities. I should also notice that note that if you don't want to use your maps in order to find abandoned buildings, the Nexus missions quite often ask you, asks you to kill m monstrosities. And that will lead you, of course, directly to one of these sites. Not sure where that egg went. It went hiding into the mass. So take one of those missions, then just build a base before you start you start killing things. Uh, kill the monstrosities, uh, finish the mission, and then you can always teleport back to the base, even if you haven't built a teleporter at, at that site can still teleport there. You can't teleport away, of course, until you build a teleporter. But at least you can get there. Come on. There we go. I think I'm... Oops, that one just disappeared. I wish I knew why, why that happened. I think I'm close to done with this site. I thought I would use them as little places to stand, but they just get in the way. I keep hitting my head on them. I think this is the last one. This is the one where they keep on spawning inside with me. Now, there it is. Maybe I, the one, the enclosure where they kept on spawning inside of me, I could have maybe built a wall through the middle to make it a little bit smaller. That might have prevented them from attacking me. I think this is my last egg at the site. Not that, oh, there it is. And so, at one site, I have picked up 5, 10, 15, 20, 23 eggs. And I'm not going to do this uh, for all of them, but if you don't already know this, a larval core will uh, process into 50 nanites each, and so a stack of 5 gives you 250. So, if you're trying to upgrade your ship, this is a really, really fast way to gather nan nanites. Honestly, the only faster way I know is to scrap ships and use the multi-scrap multi glitch, which I'm sure will be patched soon. But it exists right now, so use it while you can. Anyway, I hope you guys find this useful, and if you feel like it, you can subscribe. I think I hit uh, more than a double digit subscribers in the last few weeks, which is always cool. But thank you for your time, and have a great day!